Hi kids, Mr. Vince here from the Brown Bears. Today I'm going to show you and teach you how to play one of my favorite games when I was growing up as a kid. It's a game called Tic Tac Toe. Um, and what you're going to need, and both of these can be found um, on the internet, so you can have your parents help you. You just need to look up the word Tic Tac Toe uh, game board, and you can actually print these off um, right off your computer. And there's the X's and the O's. You're going to need to print up two of these because you need five X's and you're going to need five O's at the same time. Uh, the game is called Tic-Tac-Toe. And what you need to do is you need to use this game board um, to get these X's and O's. And you're trying to get three in a row. The first thing you're going to do is print these up. And then you're going to want to color these. So you're going to want to make the X's red and the O's will be blue and you're going to need to cut these now you're not going to want to cut right on the line to make the letter X what you're going to want to do is make a square so I will show you let me get my marker you're going to want to cut right down the middle and then you're going to want to cut like that so that you leave a little bit of room so you don't cut the letters off and I will show you how to cut one just so you get an idea and all you want is just the letter in a square shape and cut off the extra pieces just like that that's the letter X, and I'll show you the letter O. And you're going to do this with all of the X's and all of the O's. And all we're trying to do is make it a little smaller so they'll actually fit um, on the game board. All right. So now you have your X and your O. You're going to make the X's red. So use a marker or a crayon and color all the X's red. And then same with the O's, you're going to make these blue. So find a blue marker or a blue crayon and color these blue. Now, if I did that in front of you, it would take a long time. So I went ahead and already colored some. You can see my four, actually I have five letter O's. And then I have my five letter X's. X's are red, O's are blue. And now you're ready to play. Don't forget you need your game board. And the object here is to get three X's. If you're going to be X's, that means the person you're going to play with is going to be O's. Now this is just a two-person game. Just you and a friend or your parents can play with you. But it's only is for two people. You get to pick if you're going to be X's or O's. You could be either one. I like to be X's. Um, and then we're also going to have somebody play O's. I am by myself here, so I'm going to play both X's and O's. But I'm going to teach you guys how to play. Again, like I said, in order to win, you need to get three of yours in a row. You could win by doing three X's in that direction. You can get three of your X's in that direction. You can get three X's like that or in the bottom or like this. And one final way is by getting them in a diagonal just like that either that side or on this side that may look easy but the person who's playing the o's is going to try to block you they are also going to be taking their turn and again it's one at a time the x's go first and then the o's will get a turn then the x will get a turn again and then the o's so let's play a quick game so you can kind of see what we're doing so, I'm going to play the X's first, 
and then the O's. So I'm going to put an X right here in the middle. It's the O's turn. Mm, let's put the O right here. And again, if you're an X or an O, your goal is to get three in the same row or in a line. So start thinking about that. The X goes next, and I'm going to put the X right here, hoping I can go here when it's my next turn. But the O's job is to try to block me. So where do you think the O should go to block me? Should it go here? No, it needs to go here. Now I cannot put this on top, so I have nowhere to go. So I have to pick a different spot. Uh, let's say I pick right here. And what I'm trying to do is trying to get the third one across. But again, it's the O's turn next. And he's going to block me. Now, you're going to try to trick him. Because you don't want him to know where you're going to go next. So, if I go here... Then it's Blue's turn, and then Blue's going to go right there. But do you see what happened? O didn't go in the spot where he could have blocked me. You see, I have one, two in a row. All I need is one more. But Blue didn't see that. So now it's my turn, and I'm going to go right there. Can you see how I just won? 1x, 2x, 3x's in a row. That's tic-tac-toe. That means I just won. Now let's play again. And this time, we'll have the blue O win. Again, x will go first. Uh, this time, x is going to go up here. Now it's the blue's turn. We're going to let the blue go right there all right now it's going to be x's turn uh x is going to try to be a little bit sneaky he's going to try to go over here in the corner now for blue blue is going to do a great job he's going to go right here in the middle all right and look there's two blues in a row x doesn't want him to win so x is going to block him hmm now, the O needs to block the two X's to go there. Now, the X's turn. Uh, he's going to try to go, let's say, right here. Uh-oh. But the X made a mistake. He left open a square down here at the bottom. And now look what happened. One, two... Three O's in a row. That's tic-tac-toe. That means the O's just won. So let's clean the board up. And now let's play one more time. And this time, since I'm playing by myself, I want to see if I can try to beat myself or see if it doesn't work out. So we'll start with the X. We'll go right there in the middle. Then the circle. We'll go there, we'll put an X over here, the O has to block, so let's block him there, and this is where it's going to get interesting, because I'm going to make a cool move, I'm going to go right here, and do you see what's going to happen? Right now, I am going to win the game, because no matter what the blue does, if he tries to block me here, I'm going to go here to win three in a row. If he blocks me here, that way I don't have one, two, three in a row. I set myself up to go here. And I just won. Tick, tack, toe. Three in a row. So again, it's a game that you have to think about and think about one move ahead of time about where you're going to go. It is a fun game to play with your sister or your brother 
or your parents. But you can play this at home. Again, all you have to do is print this out, print out the X's and the O's, color the X's red and the O's blue, and you can start playing. Enjoy that game, guys. Hope you had a fun time, and we'll see you tomorrow.